folks, Mr. Bishop, it all comes down to this. Since the Legacy Championship title match, Alex Chase has been chasing what he thinks is rightfully his, the WAW Championship at the main event of Apocalypse 2011. It all comes down to this. No gimmicks, no weapons, no blood, no gore. Straight up, Texas catch can shoot wrestling. Two out of three falls, Troy Garbo. Can he pass the test with his first official WAW Championship defense? Well, let's take it to Pete and find out. Good inside there, buddy. Tonight's main event for the WAW Championship. Now let's bring in the participants. Oh, he said what his problem was early in the show. It's fans like this that ruin wrestling for everybody else. They should. He's a Grand Slam champion. What I miss? I miss fireworks or something. Mr. No Get Exceeded, Alex Chase! And in this corner, the WAW Champion, hitting from Mobile, Alabama, he's the good old boy, Troy Go! Oh, actually, to uh, Alex Chase and Troy Garbo, that belt, that 25 pounds of gold, means everything to both men. For Troy Garbo, it means I've worked my ass off to get to the top of the mountain. For Alex Chase, it means prestige. It means tradition. It means I am the best. Troy Garbo walking up, power elbow tie up right here, pushing Alec Jace into the ring, but it looks a oh. hole. Alex Jace, you've said it more than one time. Alex Jace, he doesn't care. 
No, why would he? he you know what? He's done everything he's set out to do in WAW. He's just here right now to wrestle. And the fact is, it was proved earlier tonight in Trick or Treat, that's not what we saw. That's what Alex JC is here to do, to wrestle. These fans don't want to see wrestling. They want to see blood. They want to see gore. They want to see weapons. Choking him. Well, let's correct you there. Trigger, uh, friggin' Staples doesn't go to the top rope anymore. Anymore? Anymore. He used to, but not anymore. I don't think nothing about this right here. Troy Garber's enjoying. The fact is, in this match, the person who walks away with two fouls out of the three is going to be WAW champion or is going to retain. Big boot to the face right there, Troy Garbo. And all the wrestling moves doesn't get more basic than a wrist lock. Oh, you know what? Troy Garbo is no slouch. He knows the business inside and out. He knows how to work a match. He knows how to wrestle. He knows how to hurt people just as well. But Troy Garbo also knows how to have a good time with a little air spray. It's still locking in the airlock. I say airlock, the wrist lock. What am I doing? I'm mixing up crap. Leg drop. Amba. Now, even if he does tap you stupid people, you know what? He still got one more to win after that. I gotta say, it is a treat to actually call a wrestling match. Not gore, not blood, not violence. We don't get to do this too often here in WAW. And that's Alex Jace's problem lately. No respect for it. Oh, he has so far, just like everybody else does here in WAW and beyond. And letting go right before. 12 to 6. Oh, if you know what? No flash, no. Joey Staples, his former uh, name here in WAW. Uh, he came aboard when Dirty. Oh, Bones! Bones! Off the ropes, reversal, the Irish whip. Oh, kick to the mush. Right back into the wrist lug. You know, Joey Staples uh, came in thanks to Dirty Dealer finding him. Dirty Dealer had control of his contract. You know what he's going to do? He's going to tell him. Alex Jace gave him a gangster gimmick. That's not Alex Jace. Alex Jace is just a guy who doesn't really particularly care for anybody. Or they could beat the hell out of their opponents so bad they get two quick pins one after another. Speaking of power, I just heard Troy Garbo's chest gave in. Oh, wait a minute, they're off the ropes. Moving the wing, hip toss. <laughs> one of his own. Alex Chase going outside. When well, you ever watch old school wrestling, you gotta rest every now and then. You gotta get a drink of water. That's what you gotta do. That's what he is doing. All right, Alex Jace is a technician. He knows guys like Pat O'Connor, the Briscoe brothers, Pete, Buddy Rogers. You probably don't even know. These are guys Alex Jace and Myers. Hey, Stack Calhoun. How about that? 
Brother Nito. Boy, Gala, wait a minute. Oh, bring him in. Oh, that's a, uh, one way of getting in the ring. Bones. Bones. Off the ropes. Reversal. Big elbow. Walking him around, still has that wrist lock in, torquing the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the joints. I got something I want to ask you, Chaz. I know Chase has been in this business for a very long time, true or false? Very true. He's been in this company for a very long time, true or false? True. He's held a lot of titles, true or false? Every single one. All right, well, I got to ask you, man, for a guy who has gone through all that, how much damage has his body taken over the years? Well, considering he has a metallic hip inside his body, multiple can call oh, DTH! I'm locking in, but my point here is Alex Chase is going to go a little bit. See, that's the difference between, no, 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 that's the difference between experience, know-how, and knowledge, and just walking it out the street being a goddamn greenhorn. Alex Chase, yes, he's been through all those injuries. In the short time he's been wrestling, the long time he's been wrestling, a lot of injuries. You gotta know how to pace yourself. You gotta adapt so your body doesn't take that much punishment from certain things or when you deliver certain moves. If you got a bad hip, you stay off the top rope and you still, oh! And you stay away from moves that put pressure on your own hip. Oh, right to the cranium. Tori Garbo, if you will recall, not only earned the WAW Championship, but he also defended it. And then lost it. Oh, no, we're not talking about Apocalypse. No, we're not. Oh, okay, we're talking about Legacy. Well, the fact is, at the beginning of this match, I said this is Troy Garbo's real first challenge. Think about it. His first match against Morocco, he defended, and Carnage interfered. Then I'll spend a second match against Carnage. What happened? Rocco interfered. All right, and his very first title defense, going back to Captain Vincent Zoello after they both just wrestled. You want to get, test a champion, you go fresh and fresh, put him in the ring one on one, and this is what happens. Off the ropes. Troy Garbo underneath the ring. He's going somewhere. He's looking for tacos. No, not tacos. Tacos de Grande. I think that's where he's been living lately. And well, that's just, that's sad when you're outsmarted by a redneck with a double axe handed on the back. Oh, that was a forearm. Oh, that's a chop. Alex Jace getting lit up. Troy Garbo lighting his own hand up though. Off the ropes, reversal. Over sunset. Reverse. Catches him all. Wait a minute. Inverted sharpshooter. Not the legs, but the one of the arms. Hey, Troy Garbo. That's smart right there, though. Giving up right now means he might be able to recover the next fall or the next two. Alex Chase has one fall. Troy Garbo has zero falls. I love the equipment. That's, that's real nice. Takes two falls to win. I like you, Pete. I'm going to start calling Pete John Madden. Well, the fact is we're on the second fall. Troy Garbo had way too much time to recover. And while it doesn't seem to do much, wait a minute. Double underhook. 
Wait a minute, dump. Dump, oh, dump handle. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Alex J.C. has all the experience in the world, but what's the point if you don't use it? You don't stand on the outside and jaw jack with the fans, with Mr. Obuya, the cameraman. You get in there and you beat the hell out of your opponent and you pin him. One, two, three, there's your two falls, there's your new champion. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, big right hand. Up and over, catches him. Oh. Fall away, front slam right there. One, kick out. Garbo up, up and over, drops it down the elbow. One, two. Now, even if he can, they pull but he tied at one and one. All right, but Alex Jace, like we've been saying this whole time, is a master technician. He knows how to work inside this ring. He knows how to work your opponent down. He knows how to build you up, give you hope, and then just take it away that much faster. Oh, way up. Cabo lands hard on the outside. And Troy Garbo, oh wait a minute. Alex Jace isn't falling for that twice. Oh! Wow! Dude, I think Red Guy's knocked out. Like, he, he's dead. Going for the madness drop right here. The big elbow drop off the top rope. Me? Oh, okay. I think you're probably talking about Macho Man then. He's up. Touching the sky. Troy Gabo up in the rafters. Up. Oh, he misses. Red guy is out cold. There's no other way to put it. He got knocked the fuck out. However, because he's out, Alex Chase, he's covering There's no red guy. I had nothing to say. That was funny as hell. Red guy just ate an elbow to the face. Wait a minute. Normal reversal. Wait a minute. Red guy is out of it. There's no other. I mean, you get smacked in the face with uh, Joey Staples or Alex Jace's elbow. You're not going to get up. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. He's actually just calling us a cradle armbar. It's no. Uh... Wait, wait the bell. Wait a minute, the bell just got rung. Joey Staples got himself just qualified. For Troy Garbo, one fall. Alex Chase, one fall. Takes two falls to win. Joey Staples just got himself disqualified for that massive elbow to Red Guy. You can see he's bleeding from the mouth. Suplex right there. 
Well, he thought he had the champion. Troy Garbo was tapping out and backing that inverted sharpshooter. Oh, wait, Garbo. Whoa, roll through, flips him down. One, two, kick out right there. Kick, we're gonna double axe, excuse me, butterfly hook right here. Troy Garbo trying to get out of it. Up, wait, oh, could be tripped down to Alabama Tornado Alley. Alabama slam on Joey Staples. Headbutt. Oh, wait, he can't, he doesn't have enough to get the pin right away. That could cost him. Actually, I was texting your mama. One, two. Actually, I was getting a little bit of an update on uh, Big Italy right there. Little Italy, whatever you want to call him. All right, the poor guy, he actually, uh, he torqued his knee pretty bad when he had that much weight on that massive strain. Wait a minute, up on the double. Oh, wait a minute. Slide, one, two. All right, but the kid is going to be okay. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Alabama slammer, wait a minute, he goes right for the pin, one, two, three, Troy Garbo retains. The fact of the matter is it's simple. The only reason we lost that match is because Troy Garbo got lucky when Alex Chase knocked the hell out of that guy. Well, you know what? What an exciting show. All the champions retain our main event. Our main event for Apocalypse is set right now. You got Michael James, the 2011 Annihilation Champion, versus Troy Cody Gabo in the main event of Apocalypse. And I want to say this as always, we're not going to be here next week or the week after, so in two weeks, three weeks' time, come join us on Aftermath. But in the meantime, Mr. Bishop, like us on Facebook, please share all of our wrestlers and performers on Twitter. And of course, as always, check us out at www.wrestling.com. Oh, hold on, hold on. Speaking of a number one contender. Oh, that was the little Buds and Suds reunion right here. You were saying? 